Hello and welcome to this lecture, where I want to cover a number of different purchasing options that are available and the associated costs. You can purchase database instances through a variety of different payment plans. These have been designed to help you save costs by selecting the most appropriate option for your deployment. The different payment options within RDS include on-demand instances, on-demand instances with bring your own license, reserved instances, and reserved instances with bring your own license, and serverless. Currently, only the Oracle database engine uses the bring your own license purchase options. All other database engines only use on-demand instances and reserved instances, with the added exception of Aurora also using serverless as an additional purchasing option. So to make things a little clearer, you can see in this table which database engines support each type of purchasing option. It's good to be aware of these different options as having an understanding of these can help you save a considerable amount of money depending on your use case. Let me run through each option to help explain, starting with on-demand instances. On-demand instances can be launched at any time and be provisioned and available to you within minutes. You can use this instance for a shorter time or for as long as you need before terminating the instance. When you create an RDS database, you are required to select the appropriate instance to support your database from a processing and memory perspective, as shown here in this screenshot from the MySQL database engine. Depending on the options you select here will depend on what the instance price will be. The larger and more powerful the instance, the more it will cost you. The cost of the compute capacity is calculated hourly with no minimum usage term. Any partial database instance hours used are cost on per second increments. And for any database changes that alter the running costs, such as modifying the instance or creating the database instance, then a minimum of a 10 minute charge will be applied, even if the database is terminated or altered again before 10 minutes has passed. At the time of writing this course, the following instant types are available for use. For a breakdown of the performance of each of these instance types, please refer to the following AWS documentation. As an example, the following table shows the pricing for each of the available instances with the MySQL database engine within the London region based on the deployment of an RDS database within a single availability zone. As you may or may not know, you can also deploy your RDS database within a single availability zone or use a multi-AZ deployment to add a layer of high availability. This will, of course, incur additional costs for your standby instance to run in another availability zone should your primary instance fail. The following table shows the total cost for your multi-AZ deployment, which is typically double the cost of a single deployment highlighted previously. Again, this is based upon the London region using the MySQL database engine. As well as both single AZ and multi AZ, some of the database engines offer alternative options. Amazon Aurora. When selecting Amazon Aurora as your database engine, you can either select to deploy it with Amazon Aurora with MySQL compatibility or Amazon Aurora with PostgreSQL compatibility. Each of these options have a different price for the on demand instances. Also, you have another option to use Amazon Aurora serverless, which ultimately means there are no instances to manage. With this in mind, the on-demand pricing is not applicable. Serverless pricing will be used instead and is measured in Aurora capacity units, ACUs. Each ACU consists of two gigabytes of memory in addition to any associated CPU and networking requirements. As an example, each ACU within the London region is charged at seven cents per ACU hour. Oracle. When selecting Oracle as your database engine, your on-demand instance price will be dependent on which edition of Oracle you choose. And the options available to you are Standard Edition 1 and Standard Edition 2. SQL Server. Much like with Oracle, the SQL Server database engine is also dependent on the edition you select either express, web, or standard. And again, each of these options will offer a different on-demand price. Currently, the bring your own license options are only available with the Oracle database engine. When using a bring your own license, you are able to use RDS with one of your pre-existing licenses that you already own. And in this instance, it would be one of your Oracle database software licenses. This differs from on-demand instances where your software licenses are already included in the price. 
Again, much like on-demand instances that we discussed previously, you are charged by the hour with no long-term commitments of any sort. Before you decide to use a Bring Your Own License instance, you need to ensure that your current license includes software update license and support for the particular instance that you are looking to create. Also with Bring Your Own License for Oracle, you have additional additions for deployment. This means that Bring Your Own License supports the following Oracle additions. Standard Edition, Standard Edition 1, Standard Edition 2, and Enterprise Edition. As you are only paying for the compute instances when using Bring Your Own License, there is no variation in prices between the different editions of Oracle being used. The following table shows the pricing for a single AZ deployment using Oracle with the Bring Your Own License option with T3 and M5 instances. The pricing for using this with multi-AZ will be double the prices that you see here. Reserved instances allow you to purchase a discount for an instance type with set criteria for a set period of time in return for a reduced cost compared to on-demand instances. This reduction can be as much as 75%, and these reservations against instances must be purchased in either one or three year timeframes. Further reductions can be achieved with reserved instances depending on which payment method you select, and there are three options available for you. Firstly, all up front. The complete payment for the one or three year reservation is paid, and this offers the largest discount and no further payment is required regardless of the number of hours the instance is used. Partial upfront. Here a smaller upfront payment is made and then a discount is applied to any hours used by the instance during the term. And no upfront. No upfront or partial payments are made and the smallest discount of the three models is applied to any hours used by the instance. The following is an example of the pricing for MySQL reserved instance pricing in the London region for the DBT3 medium instance type. When compared to the on-demand pricing, there is a big cost savings, especially when you factor in the difference in term length plus any upfront payments. In this example, the on-demand pricing for the same instance type is just over seven and a half cents per hour. Now, if you compare this to the three year term full upfront payment option of just over three and a half cents per hour, that's a saving of just over 51%. Again, we also have the option to implement multi-AZ with reserved instances, and for consistency, here's the pricing of multi-AZ with the same instance type as the example above. Again, much like the on-demand pricing, there are some additional deployment options when using reserved instances. Amazon Aurora. When selecting Amazon Aurora as your DB engine, you can either select to deploy it with Amazon Aurora with MySQL compatibility, or Amazon Aurora with PostgreSQL compatibility. And each of these options have a different price for the reserved instances. Oracle. When selecting your Oracle as your DB engine, your reserved instance price will again be dependent on the edition of Oracle you choose, either standard edition one or standard edition two. And SQL Server, much like with Oracle, the SQL Server database engine is also dependent on the edition you select, Express, Web, or Standard and each of these options will offer different reserved instant prices. Reserved instance pricing with Bring Your Own License follows the same principles I covered earlier when discussing Bring Your Own License for on-demand instances. At the time of writing this course, it's only available for Oracle and the same prerequisites apply, in addition to the same four editions being available, Standard Edition, Standard Edition 1, Standard Edition 2, and Enterprise Edition. As you are only paying for the compute instances when using Bring Your Own License, there is no variation in prices between the different editions of Oracle being used. The following table shows the reserved instant pricing for single AZ deployment using Oracle with Bring Your Own License option for the T3 Micro instance. If you compare this to the pricing below, which shows the same instance types but using a standard reserved instance where the price of the license is included, you can see there is a substantial difference. Again, the pricing for multi-AZ will be double the prices you see here.